My name is James and I witnessed something that no human is supposed to see. For some background, I am 24 years old and I still live with my parents. We live in the suburbs of a city that I am not going to give, mainly because I have already given you my name. Luckily, I don't use social media for a reason I will explain shortly. However, if you do look me up, there are several people with the same name. So good luck finding which one is really me. Anyway, since being a college dropout and having wealthy parents, I never felt the need to go out and accomplish anything for myself. Yes, I know that this is actually a fairly sad life, but for me to explain what happened and what I saw, I have to share some of my personal life, even if it risks disappointing my parents even more than I already have. A typical day for me consists of waking up at around 5.30 in the afternoon and going to the skate park for a few hours. Afterwards I will come home and piss away time by watching YouTube and Netflix until the early hours in the morning. Despite listening to my ex-girlfriend explain that I was sleeping my life away or not really living, I have become happy with my carefree pampered world. What is there not to like? I get to sleep in my parents' six-bedroom house and make all the microtransactions that I want. Well, now you know the gist of my life. And don't bother correcting me that this isn't really a life. I have heard that enough already. I have also seen most of the people I went to high school with graduate and start their careers. For this reason I have deleted all social media and am posting this story here. So all of this began in June. It was a fairly typical day for me, or night I should say. I was sitting at my laptop binge watching a Netflix show when I heard a loud rumble, considering that I heard this noise even while wearing Beat Studios. I checked my weather app on my phone to see if there was a storm coming, suspecting that the rumble was probably just thunder. This irritated me because I knew our dad shun Zoe would have a panic attack if there was a storm and I would have to listen to her pant and moan all through the night. But upon checking the app, I saw clear skies with no wind. Even though this was weird, I chalked it up to my parents slamming their bathroom door. Either way it sure as hell wasn't enough to stop me from my nightly Netflix marathon. Fast forward to a few hours before sunrise. I pause my show to go take a leak, refill my vape, and grab another Le Croix. However, upon reaching my bathroom I noticed that something was off. There was a light illuminating from the outside window into my bathroom even though the blinds were down. All around the window was a strange glow that looked as if it were daylight outside. I should also mention that my bathroom overlooks my backyard and then a field for over a mile until it reaches a highway that is out of sight. My bathroom is also on the third floor of the house. Not wanting to alert anyone or anything that was lighting up my backyard to me by turning on what was surely the only light in the house. I slowly walked on across the pitch black bathroom toward the window producing the only light I could see. Once at the window I slowly lifted one section of the blind and looked outside. What I saw out there has been scorched into my mind ever since. In the middle of my yard stood an extremely tall and thin black figure. Around this figure was a type of glow, like whatever it was had a spotlight pointed at it. I also literally mean whatever this was, because this was not a human. The type of blackness that this skinny figure was made of resembled those YouTube videos you see demonstrating Vanta Black. Even when surrounded by an unseen beam of light, this figure sucked all the color out of everything. Even more horrifying was that this figure had absolutely no facial features or clothes. My mind immediately went to that corny story about Slenderman. However this thing was missing the suit and the white head. I can confidently say that this thing couldn't see me from three stories below and through a small sliver in the blind. However, as I stood watching for some time, it began to sway. The best way to describe this movement was like a twig blowing in the breeze. And then the unexplainable happened. In a quick, explosive, and ungraceful way, this figure got up on its tiptoes and started marking time. Raising one foot up until the knee was parallel to the ground, the figure hopped from right foot to left. 
It would have been impossible for any human to do this, unless they were wearing some kind of ballerina shoe or risking breaking their ankles. The movement of this thing's legs was the only way I could accurately tell which direction it was facing. After about 30 seconds of this, the thing slowly turned in all of its blackness until its back was facing away from the house. It then bolted away at an inhuman speed into the field behind the house. The running looked human-like except for it being on its very tiptoes. Even stranger was that as it began to run. The light source of the unseen spotlight followed it as it ran into the darkness. Even with this unseen spotlight following it, the figure being as light-resistant and fast as it was, disappeared out of sight extremely quickly. Once the figure was gone, I stood at the window questioning if I had actually seen what I thought I had. Am I fully conscious? Did I just see an alien? Or is this the type of thing people talk about on those creepypasta forums? Regardless of what this was, I decided it would be best if I opened a Google Doc and started writing about this strange anomaly. As stated, this all happened in June and since then I decided to buy some camera equipment for the backyard to see if I could catch anything else. I am now typing in August and there have been no more sightings of this thing. I have on occasion heard that strange rumble of what sounds like thunder, which I immediately check the weather and open up the live feed on my security camera. As mentioned there is still nothing. I have decided that it is time to share this story with a prominent YouTuber who covers story and events like this. Maybe some of their fans can tell me about this thing if they have heard about anything like this. I will keep this journal updated if anything else happens. As you all know, I have plenty of time to investigate in my hands. I hope to update soon. Update My name is James and I witnessed something that no human is supposed to see. For those of you who have followed my first post, you know all about the tall tiptoeing figure who visited my backyard in June. After that first event I decided it would be a good idea to buy a security camera that watched over my backyard. This wasn't only done with the intention of catching whatever the hell that thing was on camera, but to also prove to myself that I am sane. Since seeing the thing, I have fallen into a state of apathy. I have become hyper fixated on getting video proof of whatever it was. I even tried to explain what I saw to some of my friends online, but I wasn't taken seriously. After all, the few people who do know about my life before all of this have good reason to not take me seriously. I am after all a college dropout with no job who still lives with his parents. The isolation I feel about witnessing something that is impossible as well as not being able to talk about it, has been draining. I find myself spending hours at a time hitting the refresh button on Reddit waiting for a new explanation to show up. But it never does. Nobody in any of the subreddits care or think this actually happened. I am stuck facing whatever this thing is completely by myself. And since I have no set routine, goals, or motivation to get my life on track, I have become completely swallowed by paranoia. I made my initial post in August and it is now October. I still haven't seen or heard anything to validate what I saw. If anything else happens I will continue to write. But sitting here jotting down my feelings may just be the wake-up call I needed to get my life on track. For now, this will be the end of my insane rantings. Update So much has happened and I don't know what to do. My father finally bought me my laptop, not knowing that I was going to use it to write this. I am crying so hard I'm on the verge of dry heaving. My arms are shaking and my fingers are numb. I am sitting in a hospital bed, clearly drugged, and I don't even know how to begin to make sense of what happened. I was finally doing better. I started going to the gym. I even went looking for a part-time job. But all of that is over now. After what I just went through I don't think I can be a normal person again. I'll start by saying this. Two days ago, after I got home from the gym, I took a shower and sat down at my desk to watch YouTube. 
I have to physically stop myself from opening up my post on Reddit because I already know that no one will have responded to it. I must have fallen asleep at my desk because I was awoken by a sound that resembled thunder. This time it was so loud that it shook my house. My dog Zoe immediately started barking. It took me a few seconds to orient myself. After taking my headphones off I immediately picked up my phone to check the camera in the backyard. Except this time was different. Instead of seeing my vacant backyard through the night vision camera, I was looking at someone standing out there. Not just a regular someone. I was looking at my ex-girlfriend Piper, staring from three floors below. Up into my camera I mounted outside of my bathroom window. To mention how I knew this was my ex-girlfriend, she was wearing the same sweatshirt that I had given her one year for Christmas. I could also clearly make out the pigment of her straight hair, even through the night vision camera. At the sight of her, the thunderous bang I had heard completely left my mind. I immediately ran down the two flights of stairs into the glass back door of the house. Looking out, I saw her standing there, except this time she wasn't looking at the camera. She was staring straight up at my bedroom window. I opened the back door and called her name. She didn't answer, but I knew she had heard me. I live in a fairly remote place, and there was nothing that would have prevented her from hearing me when she stood less than 15 feet away. Piper, I shouted again. What are you doing? Once again she didn't answer. Except this time she started walking towards me. But as she did, her head never moved away from the direction of my bedroom. As she continued to walk towards me, Her neck was starting to bend unnaturally. Step after step she moved forward, head and eyes glued to my upstairs bedroom, before her neck went completely vertical and towards the left. I backed into the house and slammed the door. I stood back as she came right up to the glass of the door. Piper. I let out. As the words left my mouth her neck made a noise that sounded like cracking knuckles. Her head shot down and her eyes met mine. You're in hell now, Piper said. But before I could respond, there was an explosive sound of thunder and everything went black. I don't know how long I was out for, but when I awoke I was tied to a bed. After I opened my eyes I tried to orientate myself. It was dark, but right next to me there was something that was darker than dark. There was a tall figure standing next to my bed that was so black it did not blend in with the darkness of the room. As the figure stood over me, the light started shining brighter and brighter out of the corner of my eyes. The light became blinding and my eyes were burning. At some point I must have passed out. Because when I woke up, I was still tied up to the same bed as before. The room, now visible, was all white with fluorescent lights. I was in some kind of hospital, but something was wrong. Unlike the first time I woke up, I now had something covering my mouth. There was something over my face that was preventing me from shouting. After mumbling and struggling to free myself for a few seconds, I heard some faint words coming from outside of the room. The doctor told the patient that it was all in his imagination. After begging and pleading with my father to let me tell my friends I am going to be away, I was finally allowed to make this post. I will not be able to post anymore because the drugs I am being given are blurring my mind. I am slowly going further and further into an unconscious state. This is my story, and this is how it happened. I am already starting to forget details so goodbye my friend. My name is James and I was trolled by something supernatural.